differentiating between drug abuse and opioid overdose is pivotal for appropriate response and treatment. Identifying an overdose triggers the administration of naloxone, an antidote for opioids. Inhaled naloxone options like nasal spray enhance accessibility and efficacy, facilitating prompt intervention in overdose situations. Responding to opioid overdose scenarios requires discernment between alert and unresponsive patients. Substance abuse patients, typically alert, may not require naloxone, whereas overdose patients characterized by reduced levels of consciousness and respiratory depression necessitate immediate intervention. Naloxone administration is warranted in confirmed opioid overdose cases. Recognizing the limitations of naloxone, such as its ineffectiveness for non-opioid overdoses, ensures judicious and ethical treatment practices. Naloxone can be administered intranasal, intravenous, intraosseous, and intramuscular. Intranasal naloxone, though, is a preferred route due to its accessibility and ease of use. Dosing considerations, including variations in container types, are crucial for accurate administration and efficacy. Training extends beyond naloxone administration to address scenarios where its efficacy is challenged. Considerations include patient safety, the potential for violent reactions, and the need for alternative interventions like bag valve, mask devices. While generally safe, naloxone may induce adverse effects such as tachycardia, nausea, and agitation. Post-administration monitoring is essential due to naloxone's limited duration of action, ensuring timely recognition of any recurrence of opioid symptoms. Comprehensive training, adherence to protocols, and ongoing education are essential components of effective opioid overdose response efforts. By prioritizing patient safety and responder preparedness, communities can mitigate the impact of opioid-related emergencies.